Good morning. So I was just recording a how-to video and I realized people might be interested in how to easily edit a video. So uh, in, in this case, I recorded a video with Zoom and then after a little bit in the cloud, and then Zoom told me the, uh, the recording was ready. So I downloaded that. And now I'm gonna show you how to use a program called Shotcut. So let me share my desktop. Great. So Shotcut is a program that I found really simple to use, and it works on Mac and Windows. Not sure if it works on Linux. So it is shot cut because you are cutting shots. I don't know, but it's it's actually quite simple to use. I've never done video processing stuff before, so I kind of had fun doing this. So let's so we start off and do a project name. So maybe example project and I'll just do automatic. I'll save it in the movies directory. That's fine. Um, automatic has always worked for me. So now I start and let's see, let's get rid of export. We don't need that yet. Okay. So now this is the, the basic screen and I'm going to first import the video. So let's see, I had that on in my downloads folder. So let's see. Uh, okay. Take the MP4 file and drop that in. Great. So now you can see that this, this is playing. Uh, we don't really need it playing right now. So now this is my um, movie and I can just take this movie and drop it down here at the bottom. So what I'm saying is this is the thing I want to manipulate. And you can see here that you have the, the sound. So I can use this to kind of figure out what, what's happening. So let's see, so right over here, you can see there's a break in the sound. So let me play now. And yes, this is me looking confused. All right, and so OBS is the... Okay, so... Let's say, let's go back here at the beginning. Good morning. Okay, so let's, let's say I don't really want that, that short beginning part. So what I can do is add this uh, split at playhead. So I click that and now my, my entire uh, video is cut into two parts and I can just remove that first part. Bang, gotten rid of. Now let's add something else. So let me go back. Let's say we go to our, we've got a slide. So I wanna put this at the beginning. So I'm on Mac, so I can easily copy. And then I open up preview. And I can just paste that new from clipboard and then i can save that or let's see i'll export that as a jpeg or no png is fine um so i'll just call this slide png awesome okay get rid of this and now back in shotcut i can now insert this slide cool so i've got this slide um, I think what I'm going to do is move this and say, I want this slide there for, um, oops, where did it go? Source. Um, so now I want this slide there for the first, say, five seconds. So I can just go and drag that down here. And now, great. Okay, so now I can go to filters and I can add uh, let's say a fade in and then a fade out. So how does this work? Well, we zoom in a little bit and we'll go back to the beginning and just hit play. So you can see the slide fades in and then the sign plays up and goes right to the video. 
Great. And then after that, I can, I can save this project. And then I will go and export video. So here's where you can use all of these different formats, different sizes. In this case, you see uh, the output is slightly wider than the video I was recording. So I could probably change, I could change that if I wanted, but then I'm gonna export. And I have a MacBook Air and exporting this takes a long time because it's doing all this re-encoding. However, I also have a desktop with a GPU. So I usually use that because it goes so much faster. The first time I was doing this kind of editing, I edited you know, an hour long video. I think it took about three hours to encode. Whereas on the desktop, it just took a matter of minutes. So if you have a GPU, I'd recommend using it. But even if you don't, it'll be okay. All right, hopefully you found this useful. And if you uh, are interested in learning more about ShotCut, there is a lot of online documentation.